Be obedient to the voice of God. Part 4. How to know when God is speaking. So we've covered that God still speaks in this helter-skelter technological age. We've also covered the importance of godly vision and we've also covered the price of disobedience which usually is due to sin in our modern age. Now let's look a little bit on some of the things which show us that God is speaking to us. Obviously if we follow God's laws and how Christ interpreted it in his many speeches and his many parables we realize just how important it is to live a righteous life so that we can also have a fulfilled life. The thing about godly vision and realizing that God is the one who is speaking is that anything that is counter or opposite of God's law is obviously something that he himself did not recognize or he himself will not be willing to go with. So for example, if you're married and you feel that you should leave your wife for some hotter looking person, more than likely that's not God leading you to do that because adultery is wrong. You may come into trouble with your boss because you may steal money for your to help out your financial situation. That obviously is wrong because stealing is a sin. You may lie on your taxes to try and keep some of the money that you earn. That of course is wrong because lying is wrong. You may start a ministry but it's really due to vainglory or to show your pride or haughtiness while you're doing it. That obviously is wrong because pride is a sin. You may do other things such as start a business but if you're really doing it to gain the amount of money that you can from it then that obviously is also a sin because the lust for money and the things that it will bring you, the material possessions, is a sin. So obviously, we have to filter through God's laws to see the things which will lead us to do the things that God would want us to do. And it is when we realize that, we'll realize we're doing the things that God wants us to do.